nane nana tane nane nana tane nana tane nane nana he tane 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 na kuruviyune irundacha koondukulle valandacha koonda vittu veliye varum kanavilla daamedandacha he kanavukulle thara irangi nadandu nadandu padagacha okay Greetings and salutations everyone and welcome back to Invisible Let's Play the Project. I am your host Invisible from Invisible's Gaming Channel. The stage of the stage is giving a voice for the voiceless and this shall be hopefully our newest project to let's play. Vinba. A story, a game that is uh, narrative driven a story about a newlyweds couple from south india migrating to canada and how the new challenges will face them this game is all about cooking and from what you saw we will be mostly playing as vinba the main character i am going to record this uh, let's play offline because the game is rather very quick and i'll be following also a walkthrough for it since in order for you to get the best possible ending you should finish every single recipe correctly from the get-go you can't make any mistakes period before we start I would like to pray peace be upon all of my subscribers and commentators, followers, fans, and friends, everyone from the beasts of the other empire, and everyone from the Discord server for YouTube friends by name. Peace be upon Tendersug Gaming, be it Zonine Gaming, Marcus, Metro Crash, Mark IC, Rebel Y, Rogation Carodan, Cryfield, CPTV123, Matthew Elvington on Sagata Community 5, Bob Express, Sparfine 28, Sawy underscore we, Crazy Dragons 412, Heavy Metal Driver 666, and Torusco. With that said, let's get moving. This is, by the way, my second attempt trying to record this game. It's not a problem with the game itself, it's just a problem with me myself. This was created by uh, VSA. This game was developed by VC. Its name is Vinda. We already tested the graphics quality for this game here. Options. We have master audio, music, sound effects, video, full screen resolution, game, uh, controller. We didn't use controller, we used keyboard and mouse. Good new game, and yes. This game uses this auto save, so yeah. Think well before you dare and never ruminate once in action. 1988. This game uses uh, auto save, so whatever mistakes you do, they will not be undone. You can't undo them. Leaving already? Are you sorry? Did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Tired? Nauseous? Well, just like yesterday. Oh. Okay, I'll go to your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There is some leftover idli, batter, and uh, garlic uh, shanti, uh, shatni from uh, yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure that out, that out. It's okay, I can. I was just about to leave. It's just idlis, very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. <sighs> okay. Fine, I'll make it. Wait five minutes. 
been bad. Really, it's a, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I will be done in a, in a minute. Okay. This is our main character, Vinba. Yeah. Main title card, Vinba. Okay, let's get the, this done first. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? But the way I make idlis are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way to do. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Check the recipe book first. Tools. Idli plate towel cooker. Ingredients. Water. Batter. Holds to let steam through. These, these also have holes, so batter can cook. Make sure to redact it or it will <coughs> leak. Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Hmm, I have not made idli with these kinds of plates before. The only the difference from mine seems to be the holes in the plates. The recipe also calls for towels, I'm not sure why though. But Ama swears this method makes at least a lot of her. I am recording this offline because of two reasons. One, I need to point out every single important uh, bit of information. Two, I'm using a walkthrough that is length is 49 minutes to show you as many as much possible how to make every single recipe from the get-go correctly without making any mistakes. That's for the best possible uh, result. Check here the question mark icon. I'm not sure how to do it. Hint about at least about the dishes is a flavor text. You must read through all the choices, including the hints, if you wish to get all the achievements from the get-go. I'm not joking. This is not a choice. This is a must. About at least. How is it made? At least are a breakfast stable. They ask so little of you, but they give you so much back. Simply grind rice and some fermented lintless for that cloudy batter. And steam it to make them soft, uh, those soft fluffy cakes. Uh, anyone can make it, it's so easy. Except for my husband, I, I guess. Although I've never made it with mother's, my mother's cooker, so this might be a challenge. About at least. How it is served. It is our versatile, and it is all about what you eat it with. Chili powder and some sesame oil would work well. Of course, the staples like uh, sambar and coconut uh, chutney are great too. But eating it with some leftover chicken gravy is my favorite. There are a lot of options. I'm not sure how to do this. Hint. Mm, this is hard. I think I can figure it out. No, I really could use a hint here. Put a towel on each idli plate before I put the batter on. I also think the alignment of the plates matter. I should make sure that the each plate batter slot is directly above the steam holes of the batter below. 
still nothing here to still redacted. So what do you do here? First, tell. Hold your button and put it on the, on the plate. Then put the idly batter onto the plate here. Take it here and put it into the cooker. Change it so that the holes are uh, directly to the northeast, west, and south. Do the same for the next button. I'm speaking while I'm watching the walkthrough, by the way. Because you can't make any mistake at all. Otherwise, you will have not only to restart the level, you must restart the entire game. I'm not even joking. Once more. Good. No more towel here. The endless battery here. Put the last one here. And now... Add water. Good work. And now, close the battery. Alright, let's see how it turns out. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turns out. Ah, it's done. Oh wow, you even took the time to make our faces. I think you forget about my beard though. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out at least. Venda, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skipped lunch the once. Pavelan. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave, I couldn't feel peace. I couldn't sleep peacefully. What will I do for lunch? By the way, these things won't really matter that much. So, sorry, but this is just another flavor text only. Um, I couldn't sleep peacefully. I feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but you know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook even on this like this? You're right, sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know, there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Oh well, why don't you leave me and uh, leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. No, they're not. They're expensive.
Vinda, are you home? What did the doctor say? Later. So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start backing. What? What's it with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Okay. At least again. What has gotten into you today? Take a look at it, please. What? She's a pregnant. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we are barely scrapping by as is. I can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if there isn't us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. Back then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. What do you think, Bimba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worried like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Have a land. Don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Hmm. Being outshone by others' children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. 1994. We jumped. And that kid is already here. My name is Pavalan, sir. Pavalan, sir. Kevin. Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have to play Kevin. I don't have time to play Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your, t where's your shirt? It's a keep. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there. Don't run. Did I witness that correctly? Did Kevin come back here? This has become a routine now. Was I just imagining it or did that mask actually move its eyes with the uh, Pavlan's eyes? 
Yes, sir. A bachelor of science in physics, sir. Ah, you. That towel is so dirty. Da. Here, wear this shirt, Kara. No. But sir, you can just take me on a probation period, baby. I'm a driven, self-started, and quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kana. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. Speak in Tam Tamil, Kevin. Speak in Tamil. Is that their mother language? I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kana. I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They didn't uh, buy the hundreds of uh, units of inventory study. I'm telling you, it's time for it to go. They didn't buy the uh, hundreds of units of uh, inventory study. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in the grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. By the way, uh, Vinba's address is named uh, Sari. It's a traditional Indian uh, attire. Oh well, I'm only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that year. Not of my English. I spent half the schools asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. <laughs> if I can understand those shows. Maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can wear watch Batman together, Papa. <laughs> yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him uh, Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speaking Tamil, da. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyway. You need to keep your Indian origins. Don't go for the Canadian. That's why we picked it. Names tell stories. Names tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name, and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. This is bad. He's a brother than us, Vinba. He's learned to adapt, we haven't. You know, he eased yesterday's English quiz. He did? Really? Good job! We should celebrate the canna. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Ooh! Can we order pizza? Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I want pizza. How about something better? How about we make something at home? How about something better? 
like Harutta. Dosa. Idia Pam. Get Dosa. Biryani. Carry Dosa. What is your thing with Dosa? No, I'm tired of all these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kevin, have you ever had putto? No? What is that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? It's just order a pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice card box board. <laughs> card board box. <laughs> It really look like a rocket launch. Did it? Do you want to see? <laughs> you want this round then back? All right, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Amma has a recipe on it. Hopefully, it's readable. Let me cook the chicken obvious, just in case. Everything's so far so good, then let's get moving. What's the rocket? Where, where is the rocket? We need to make the flower first there. Okay, let's go. The recipe book. Put two flour. Ingredients: 500 grams of rice water and water. First, blend 500 grams rice. Two, separate a fine rice from chunks. Redacted chunks. Redacted. Redacted. Combine 500 grams of fine rice with water. All right, let's mix some flour. When do we get to put the right part? Soon, there. Uh, be patient. Not sure how to do this and uh, storing the flour. Venma, I'm not expert. But usually we toast the flour after we make it, uh, no? Usually yes, it's important to toast it, especially if you're going to store the flour for later. But we're using it right away, down here, so it's okay to skip it. Okay, and... I'm not sure how to do this really. Mm, this is hard. Uh, I could really use a hint. I think I should blend the rice alone and use the sieve to separate the chunks and fine rice. But since I need to add all of the rice, we need to find a way to use these, uh, those rice chunks too. Could we maybe blend the chunks of rice and sieve it them again? Take the soaked rice and put it into the blender. Turn off. Done. Blended rice, you put this here. I should shake the seam over the towel to catch everything. Hold it and shake it. Shake. 
Shake it, 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 shake it. Now put this back into the grinder. Again. We're losing all the rice. But again, the blood dries into the sieve. Take the sieve and shake it again on top of the other previously shown chicken rice. Eating pizza non-stop is very bad for your health, kid. Kevin. Also, not speaking in Tamil in your own uh, mother language uh, at home is very bad. Shake it once again in the blender. Because you're really going to use all the rice here. Now it's all powdered rice. Save it. Don't forget, you must make every single one from the get-go correctly. The sticks will, are not terrible. If you wish to truly have the good best ending possible. Now put all of this here, together, into the water. I think this is perfect. Why does this feel like flour even though there was so much water? We have to mix the water and the flour little by little. The final cons consistency should feel like a slightly wet sand. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Amma, when will we get to the rocket? Okay, for the next part, I'm going to have it a step by step, literally, with the uh, walkthrough. Because we'll need to mix some stuff. Some very delicate stuff. Okay. This is even worse than I thought. St something. Flour, coconut, 4 tablespoons of something, 3 tablespoons of something, water in the lower half, in the very bottom, 4 coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. 4 coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. Okay. Alright, this is straightforward. Assemble the parts so that water steams and cooks that's so above. Tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order coconut can crumble easily. Other uh, garnishes. Well, uh, we are uh, garnishing with coconut here, but really, you can stuff anything in between. Anything? Yes, like Yerachi Poto is made with the minced meat in the middle. Uh, uh, my favorite. What about the cheese? Could you put cheese? You could, but you shouldn't. Give me a hint. Mm, this is hard. I really need a hint. Okay, so coconut is the garnish, so that must be small amounts with three spoons. The recipe says we should put coconut layers as far away as possible. Maybe we should try coconut in the bottom, middle, and the top. For, take the water and put it in the very bottom. This area here, the pot to kettle. Now this area here, the mold. I will literally do the same exact thing the walkthrough will do. This is the pot to flour, and this is the coconut flour. I will just follow exactly what the let's play would show me. Because I don't want to ruin anything. Since we have come this far. Let's see here. The correct order is blue, 
red red blue red red blue so blue red red blue red red blue and close the lid put the mold on top of the water and put it all in the fire that's it it's lunchtime time Kevin Wow! That was so cool! And that, I can't believe it. It, it. it didn't fall. Emma? Can we do that again? <laughs> and there you go. Potto with coconut. We are unable to offer you our secondary teacher position as the time being. However, we encourage you something, something, something. One moment, let me clear, read this quickly the things from the walkthrough. I can always just read it, I believe. Okay. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. So Vinba can't become a teacher yet. Is he asleep? I think so. Kevin? They have all to share the same bed. Yes, he is. Good. So that interview... Another did end? Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. God curse it. We'll keep you on file. In order for you to find a job in Canada, you must have Canadian experience. Otherwise, forget it. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Did it, it? Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. Did it, it? What? I know you don't like uh, Sorish. I think you should take a sales job at the company. Did it? it? It's all about, it's all about who you know here. We really are at the end of the road for rope. It's all about who you know here. That's also true. And we barely know anyone. We're not in the position to pick and choose our help. The dot. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here we still have to big people like uh, Sarish. It's not baking. I know. Shh. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. Honestly, I think we are more qualified for sales than I am. You are not qualified. <laughs> I mean, you, the way you sold Kevin on the potter today, you're pretty good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Kevin? I just feel that there is a wall between me and my class. I can, can't connect with them. 
they lead very different lives than we did. And I feel the same wall going around Kevin. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kevin? It's so hard to even talk to him. It just feels like he's growing far away from us. The other day he told me he wishes he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What a five year old needs a privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school, he's not interested in anything we do. interested in anything we do. I thought I could at least give him to listen to music or watch some movies from ba back home. But he's rather watch home alone for that 100th time. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd get, have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. But it also comes with its own culture, language, values. Can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yes, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Venda. Will he'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? His words are always reassuring. Next chapter. Those falling from their resolve are stripped of respect like hair falling from the head. 1995. I really need to read these quotes very quickly. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavalan. He's my dad. P. A. A V A L A N She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? Yep. Well, okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Yes. Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Hey, stop snooping! Maybe we can call him. Does he usually go home with someone? She says no, dad usually lives alone and he is very quiet. She says all of the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. She says he must have left to then too. Okay, thank you. Hmm, what's going on? Going outside, walking. Where's Pavalan?
Uh, where are we walking? Why are we walking through the park, Mama? Do you think Papa will be here? I don't know, Kanna. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If we decided to walk home from or the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left at 5. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where could he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kanna. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay. Okay, okay, I can do that. Ahem. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot in her at home. Oh, look at you, girl. See, you can speak Tamil uh, when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh yes, he loves to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home that he used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. So how did you end up meet? Uh, what did you do back home? How did you meet? Honestly. Hmm? You know, I'm named after a type of poem, right? Really? Yes, Appa told me a vinba is a kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. The proper equipment for rooms and purple pay. So we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big, big break. One moment. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break. But he was the shabbiest person I had ever seen. He looked like he had just woken up. Was it Appa? Yes. Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine. But it wasn't an article. It was a poem? It was a story? It was a poem? It was a vinba. A gorgeous one too. It was about the school, the students, our protest. And it was about me. Somehow people could ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change. Uh, by the way, according to OBS, we have already reached 40 minutes. According to the walkthrough, 
since they don't read as much as I'm reading, and since they are just skipping through everything, we have been only gone f through 40 minutes. Wow. Anyway. And I was smitten. Why did you move here? Do you think you will ever go back? Why did you move here? Do -do 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 -do. It wasn't an easy choice. Havalan wanted to be with me. And I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together. And they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. So their magic was actually rejected. Ama, I see Papa. Did something happen? Punched in the face. So, no food in this chapter. Still, it's a progress in the story. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's order. 2006 You have a groan! Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. I'll go help Kevin back. And I'll check the walkthrough just in case. No need to make anything really wrong. Biryani gravy. Not a single hint okay this recipe is completely unreadable layered biryani is really fancy I've never made it that way before but I've seen Amma make it the night before we left India maybe I can try remembering them uh, finding these ingredients. Okay, for this one, I'm going to play the walkthrough in my hand on the slowest possible speed because it will be complicated, I believe. Finding these ingredients. If it wasn't for the wonderful Elam Tamil community here in Toronto. I can't even imagine getting all these spices easily for uh, or affordably 20 years ago. Tamil shops 
restaurants, theaters, and I hear they are even offering Tamil courses for students here now. They worked so hard to create this little home away from ho from home. <sighs> I wish I could do more here. Maybe I'll apply if there is any Tamil teacher jobs. Give me hands. This is hard. I really need the hands. I definitely remember I'm putting in the whole spices first. So before anything, I should put in cardamom, fennel, clovers, and bay leaves. We have here... What we have here, my friend, is... I walk through to watch quickly. Okay. First things we will put is this here. These ingredients here. Remember, all this first. These ingredients so expensive. I'm not. What are you going? Why are you going through the trouble? It's okay, dear. That's a big thing. To leave the, to come to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. a logic to order to the order you add these four ingredients and in. you want all of them to fry in the oil nicely but the ingredients you add first will always fry more the more in the oil than the ones you add next right so if i want onions to turn golden brown they need to be fried the most and remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. Now the beef goes in after we add salt and powder. That order is important. Then add water and let it uh, reduce. Now how am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry, I'll add these instructions to the recipe book I gave you. Okay, so according to the walkthrough, we'll place the cardamom first. Okay, then we will place the bay leaves. Then We'll place the of it cloves. Then we'll place the fennel seeds. Uh, I can never get tired of how great the toasted whole spices smell. And uh, I wish you could see how much these cost here. You would lose your mind over these prices. Okay, next up, what do we do? I remember that uh, according to the walkthrough, there is an ingredient we should never, never, never use. Okay, next up. We will place what? Next up, we will be putting Then, chilies? Are you sure? Hold it. Are you sure, chilies? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I remember very well the walkthrough said something about the chilies. I'm checking right now the guide itself. Hold it. 
Okay, well, according to the walkthrough itself, we are the, the onion already already added. We'll add in the chilies. Okay. Then the ginger. Ginger garlic paste. G ginger and garlic paste. Then we will add the tomatoes. Of course the tomatoes go in last. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Emma. I'm sorry I couldn't take better take of uh, care of it. But I'm fixing this now. I hope Cabin can appreciate it when he uh, when he, he cooks this. If he ever does. Next up he finally put in the remaining three powdered uh, spices on the right and the salt. Lastly add the beef and the pork. Okay, let's continue on with the guy that is in the video this time, not in the written one. We'll see now what we'll be adding. Uh, biryani masala, the turmeric, or the chili powder. We'll go first for the chili powder. Then the turmeric. And then the biryani masala. We'll place salt. And finally, we will place the marinated beef and the water. Ah, this smells divine. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start uh, layering. Gravy is done. All that's left is the biryani. I hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. Now the next stuff. stuff. Once again, we'll check start out the book. Layers biryani. Ingredients. Uh, instantly, everything is uh, redacted. Once done, let it uh, sit in a slow flame for 30 minutes. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. Now, one, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other ingredients. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Uh, I see. We just add all these together on the top of the rice layer, and that's the final layer. Yes. What's wrong with Ama? Oh, Ama, why are you crying? You know, we'll, we'll visit often. And once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know Kanna, it's just so far away. Okay, it's the same exact thing here. Good. Uh, types of biryani. Biryani are so fun to make and they can be made in so many different ways. Every state in India has its own biryani and they all swear it's the best. Anna loved, always loved the hide the Hydra Bari Biryani I'm making today. Give me a hint. Hmm, this is hard. I really need a hint. I should scoop out a layer of beef using the empty bowl. Then add one layer of rice. Then I should add the scooped out beef followed by the last layer of rice. And all the garnishes probably go on the last layer. Okay, again, I'm following you straight through the walkthrough because I don't want to ruin anything. We are almost by now one third away uh, uh, moved from the walkthrough itself. Almost done. Use the empty bowl here. 
Yes, use the empty bowl here first and put it in it uh, the sample of the beef. The side. Then. We put the rice. Put back the beef. Next up, we put the rest of the rice. Next up, we put the cashew. Then we put the eggy. Next up, we put the cilantro. Then we put the fried onions. Then we put the saffron milk. And finally, the mint. I think this is right. I just have to cover it the, with the detail. Okay, I think it, this is it. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. Let's hopefully absorb all the moisture from the gravy and deep flavoring it. I can't wait. Do that. Should be good by now. Looks amazing. He now almost looks like his father. How is it? Oh, so good. Beef really is the best. Mm -hmm. Oh. He's eating with his hand while his son is eating with the spoon. It's really good, Mama. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, oh, ma. Stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for the university. Yes, can now, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh. This way, you and Appa won't have to drive all the day. We wanted to see you in the... We wanted to see the university. I was looking forward to the drive. I was looking forward to the drive. We could all spend some time together before we send you off. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. Last chance for us to annoy you with the unsocialist uh, and solicited advice. Oh, Hama, uh, that would be nice. But I think it's easier this way. You can't always annoy me any another time. His stamina is uh, broken. Okay, I can now, sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? <laughs> oh. uh, maybe we can drive there next week, drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. 
Would your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I've packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some pudis, pickles and sweets. She give all the pieces to Kevin. Amma, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I packed you for your friends too. You can all eat. Amma, they don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. Come on, this is harsh. I don't want any of it. Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of it, all of it uh, this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask. But what will you e even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. You never compare home food with anything. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. <laughs> You're still stuck with the beef. I'm just eating uh, Kuska here. That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. Certainly me, if everyone were to jump into a boiling oil, you would follow them also. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it if you don't have to eat it? I said no, Ama. I'm done with this. This is a first start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. I just want to be normal. For once. Shh. Tana. The language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear, only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There is a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be part of it. Just because you think it's not normal, then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It's just, there's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. You don't know what fate has in its, in its pockets for you, buddy. I'll visit it, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week too. So please try not to worry. By the way, we are almost now one full third through the story, almost half of it. Okay. Okay. We are almost half the path through the walkthrough now. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who is that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off that old block. <laughs> so, his parents are both Indians, but he became Canadian. There he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent and makes his own choices, even if they are so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. 
Whatever he chooses, at least it will be his own decision. Also, it's not your place to choose for your kid if they are, his choices are incorrect or correct. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like the old times. Hmm? We are unable to offer you the, our secondary teaching position at the time. So however, you can encourage you to apply again next year. Uh, labor of his go to hell, for all I care. Sincerely, just go to hell. Oh, did Kevin reach the university? Did he text or call it? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. But maybe he hasn't uh, got... He... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Oh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. What's wrong with it? I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. Maybe, but maybe he, we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did. Of course not, Pavalan. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is supposed to Is I suppose. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and the stories that I love. And the ones you wrote too. All the stories you read to him as a child were just the ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park... Maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on. I know how much you miss home. Don't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin. And I have you. Home is where you two are. That's one sweet family. 
Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. 2014. Did something happen? Did something actually happen? Did Pavalan did, did Pavalan die? Venba, what's up? by the mouth with the mouse. That's not it. This isn't even a double self to do to be done. Although I'm, I played the walkthrough in the background. This is just... Just once they start uh... done. I'm not sure what is this thing is. or no instructions here. Let's see what happens. Bye, Now wait. Mini game. Not sure, but it's highly possible that maybe Pavan had died. Is it um, that her son is returning back finally from university? I'm not sure. Here we go. That was starting, alright. Slice. Left click. until it starts shutting again. She's uh, preparing a feast for that. Wow. She's definitely preparing a feast. Three more uh, dishes. Okay. Here we go. Some butter. Okay, here. I'm not sure what this thing is that we're gonna do. Put here. Yeah, uh, hold it. Are you sure we need to put the reverse? Hold, hold your horses. Uh, Seems there's nothing else other than this here. 
I'm sure that we really need to put it to the bus. There's nothing else for us to do. I hope we didn't ruin this because if we did, I'll be in a very big trouble. The last dish. Oof. What do I need to do? Just for them. Tell me that he will not arrive this time. Kevin? Mm. Hold your horses. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I need to make sure that we read from the very start. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, have a great uh, have have a great day. Good night. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good morning, Emma. Good night, Kevin. Good night, Emma. Uh, good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. You have a great day. Happy birthday, Emma. Thank you. Any fun plans today? Nothing can. Uh, might go to the hoppers uh, today. They give uh, two times uh, points today. Oh, cool. Good morning, Kevin. Happy New Year, Kevin. Happy New Year, Emma. What plans? Uh, today might see some friends what about you not much can come home when you have some time it will be nice to see you uh, ah not today Emma. maybe another day okay no problem good night me mom good morning Emma. I saw this and it reminded me of you uh, Lol. Oh, well, uh, what? Who are these people, Kana? Your friends? No, Emma. It's just a meme, Emma. Never mind. How are you? L good, Kana. How are you? Had lunch? I'm good, Emma. Good night, Kevin. Good night, Emma. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good night, Kevin. Looks like the guy is not even answering her. Good morning, Kevin. Have a good day. Good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a good day. Good night, Kevin. Can I? It, it is Appa's anniversary today. Please call Sitha Patif 
if you have time to do. I am uh, sure will do. Uh, how are you uh, feeling today? Fine. Good morning, Kevin. Have a good day. Good morning, Emma. Um, good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a good day. Good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a good day. Um, emoji about uh, hugging monkeys. Good night, Kevin. Good night, Emma. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, elephants hugging. Haha. <laughs> Where are you getting these stickers? This is a free app. I will share it with you. No, no, it's okay. I was just asking. Oh, uh, okay. Good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good night, Kevin. Uh, hi, Kanna. Happy birthday. If you're free today, can you come home today? It's been so long since I saw you. I'll cook your favorite uh, mutton. Hi, Emma. Thank you so much. Uh, sure, Emma. I have a lot of uh, plans today, but I think I can stop by for, uh, but for later tonight. Super. Sorry, Emma. Something came up last uh, minute, and I can't make it tonight. This is... Sad. All the food she prepared for the celebration. Even the mask is angry. So Pavalan really died. Pavalan did die. And now Venba is indeed forsaken. We are happy to inform you that your appreciation for the secondary teacher has been accepted. Yeah, only took you a whole lifetime to be accepted. Only took your whole life. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet into many things. And we don't get, this time get the... Date. Bachelor of Arts. Kevin is back finally. Hold it, I'm going to read this after the little lobby. That's hype that we was just looking for. Great, but hold it. I need to go up scroll. Chris Kendall. That's so hi hype. That's exactly the vibe I was looking for. Great, but just so you know, that's not usually a uh, hunk inside the house. I'd just like to hang it inside. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just needed something unique and interesting here. By the way, for the school lunch scene, I think I was thinking. I couldn't catch that. I can't go back. Basically, they want different cultures. What do you think uh, Priya's lunch should be? Chicken tikka, spicy vindaloo, maybe? Well, Priya is Tamil, so probably none of those. So another Indian girl, I take it. What if we show her eating uh, nothing? Like, I would bring back my lunch a lot, lol. This is not funny. I was so embarrassed to eat at that school. Maybe we can touch upon that. Kevin, you are such a disgrace.
Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. It's just fun scene to separate different cultures and cuisine that really represents Toronto. You must have a favorite dish your mom made or something, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified. That was ranting, bro. That was all just ranting, bro. That's not good. Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. About time. About time. Scroll. Can we now please go back up? Thank you. I'd like to read all of this. Hey, Kevin, I wanted to ask you if you had any cool references for set designers as they design Priya's home. They can do their own research for sure, but maybe there is something cool you have in your home. Something cultural and potentially obscure. Oh, I don't know, man. You've seen my apartment. It's all movie posters and games. There has to be something you remember growing up with your parents, right? Oh, yeah. Actually, my mom left me a box of stuff before she left to India. I'll check that, I guess. She left to India? You have the mask. Yo, that's hype. That's exactly the vibe I was looking for. Great, but just so you know, that's not usually hung inside the house. My dad just liked to hang it inside. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just needed something unique and interesting here. But by the way, for the school lunch scene, I was thinking it'd be cool if it was like a super diverse table of kids and they all shared food from different their different cultures. What do you think? Priya's lunch should be chicken tikka, spicy, vandalo maybe. Well, Priya is Tamil, uh, Tamil, so probably none of those. What if we show her eating nothing? Like I would bring back my lunch a lot, lol. It was I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. Maybe we can touch upon that. Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisine that really represents Toronto. We must have the f f uh, you must have a favorite dish your mom made or something, right? Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. About time, bro. About time. Okay, if I have to give them a recipe, at least I c the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. Then Bayou really gave birth to an ungrateful little shit. Wow, it looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. About time, bro. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. You can't read your own mother language. Shame. Are you serious? Oh, Idlis. This is Puttu. Oh, I remember making with Amma and Appa. That was fun. Biryani, of course, Appa's favorite. Natto Cozy Colambo. It's like a chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. 
The cook was whistling. Amma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyway, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. And oh, how helpful. She's drawn a cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first, and then I can start putting it together. And by the way, we are uh, almost uh, two thirds through the game now. There's not much left. Let's see, book. Is this a joke? <laughs> Even as a content creator, I can't read a thing. I don't speak Tamil. Okay, hold your horses, hold your horses, hold your horses. I think I can toy with you a little bit, with you play your disgusting game here. I'm not talking about Vinba itself, I'm talking about the translation. Thanks God we live in a time where the internet exists. Go for translator, make the text language, and turn it into English. And now, point the camera with my phone to the screen and let it um, translate. Uh, tamarind water. Grind well, remove the yeast from the water, and uh, repeat the same until the water stops changing color. That's it on it. Maybe this uh, trashy son forsake uh, who for throw his mother away can't remember how to do this but also I'm myself uh, following our walk through here so hopefully nothing happens go back here for skill mode please and let me see what to do here uh, I can't really read uh, this but thankfully there is a diagram it looks like I have to mix the tamarind with the water to extract the essence multiple times the recipe uh, now flavor text. I think the quote from India was about uh, Pavlan. The recipe book. Amma put a lot of effort into fixing these, huh? This book was so important to her, I can't believe she left it behind for me. Though, I think she overestimated my Tamil comprehension because you're a sack of shit who didn't care about his own mother language. Oh man, I'm so stuck. If only I could read Tamil. Uh, I really need some help here. Oh wait, I think I remember seeing Ama do this. I think I mixed the water with the taram tamarind in one bowl. Then I should separate the mixture of water from the tamarind. I can't do that by putting the sieve on the empty bowl and pouring from the first one. I think Amma would repeat that until the tamarind had uh, nothing left to give. Hold your horses, I'll check the walk through right now. Even if the, everything he just said was the correct thing to do. I don't want to make a single mistake. I hardly believe that uh, Pavalan had died and uh, Vinba remained alone. And uh, now it's about time for us to do something about this. It's all in Tamil. Had he learned his mother language, everything would have been fine. But nope, he had to be a sack of shit. And he had to forget all there is about Tamil in exchange for English. The Canadian English. So what do we do? Okay, hold your horses, bro. Hold your horses. First things first, we take the tamarind, put it here, then we take the water and pour it here over this thing here, in the bowl, then we mix the tamarind with the water here, until the water is color change, good, uh, I could add more water directly into this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. I need to find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. You will then put the sieve over the other bowl. 
put here and put this here work now next up you put it back again put more water and it uh, mix it and the color changes again then you repeat the same exact action once more until all the water is gone so again here again here put it back add more water the sieve uh, mix here with the water with the tamil the, wa uh, the water isn't really changing color that much anymore I think I've gotten everything I can from the tamarind let me add it to the other bowl and see good there we go next up would be that's as much as I am going to get I think I hope this means that tamarind water is ready on to the next thing I think this is the one with the chilies that we need to avoid the chilies at all costs okay again with that Tamil I can't read anything of this but let's just for the sake of authenticity quickly check with uh, Google Translate on the Android just in case no need to ruin anything let's see okay so this is a chicken uh, rasam first roast the seeds next add curry leaves and red chilies add chopped onions and crushed ginger garlic next first add the tomatoes and the oil uh, till all them till they become soft and then add uh, tarmand water add uh, sarapodi and uh, salt as required hold your horses so i can quickly recheck the walk through here just in case i don't want to make anything mistake here Yes. For the stage, we still have a stage here. Okay. So it's a still not. Hmm. Hmm. So not this chapter. It's the next one that we need to be careful of. Let's go back to the walkthrough, the normal one. Video walkthrough. The walk through the timer is at 55 minutes. According to OBS, it's 1 hour and 49 minutes. Wow. Don't forget, this game will only be played once. Okay, next up, what do we do? First and foremost, take the flavor text. Okay, well, there's no diagram in this one. My Tamil isn't the most fluent so i might not be able to translate this fully but maybe i can do it step by step i think i can make out a few of these words toast both of the greens first nice i just have to figure out the missing parts and we can go step by step although i don't really see any greens did i mistranslate something Flavor text about soup. So, rasam is essentially a watery soup. The rasam powder seems heavy on black pepper, and I think that is that's why it's so good for colds and flus. 
I remember that I came home one day and complaining uh, from uh, complaining that the English um, Molly Gatawini soup was a poor imitation of our soup. Was he talking about Rassam? Wait. Black pepper is called Milagai in Tamil, and water is called Thani. And if Rassam, if uh, Rassams are a peppery water soup, then it's just Milagani Thani. Milagani, Milagai Thani. Molly Gatani Gatoni. Oh my. Yeah, basically the dish is stolen. Oh my! Oh, oh man! I'm so stuck. If I could, if I, if only I could read Tamil. I really need some help here. Hmm. Add both the greens. I don't see any greens, but I do see seeds. Maybe she means the mustard and the cumin. Cumin. Hold your horses there. I'll check quickly the walk through. I don't want to ruin anything. See here again with the Tamil. Yeah, what do I do? Again, quickly check on the flavor text first. So don't ruin anything. One moment. The little player quickly moves with the skips, the instant skip. This is a one video instant long play, we will not be repeating it. Literally, this, this is literally, this literally means what I do, what I prefer, that's it. So, Master Seed, okay, hold it. First thing, Master Seed. Next, Cumin. Next. Ah, uh, seeds, not grains. I can't count the number of times I have woken up to the sound though. How is it already smelling so good? Oh, I can read this part easily. Next, add red leaves and the green chilies. Am I supposed to keep brewing after all the meal? Um about soup yeah it's the same thing literally okay let's see here flavor text am i supposed to once again check out what to do here flavor text no just to add the chilies and add curry uh, leaves hold it add the chilies and add uh, curry leaves. Oh, I must have my words for red and green switched around. On to the next step. Add minced something and crushed ginger garlic. By the way, the walkthrough only has 10 minutes left. Okay. Add this here. And uh, the shallots. And add garlic and ginger. Sorry about my accent. This smells so good. It's usually around this time, Amma has me weaving away all the steams from the smoke detector. Hmm, what gives out water? First add the detected that creates water, then add water itself. Sorry. Next up is okay, no flavor test. Hold your horses. We'll add tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. Frying it seems to release a lot of water. Next up, we'll add. Tamarind water. So that's what the tamarind water is for. 
No idea what this is, but only two ingredients left. So add redacted and redacted to test. Okay. One and two. Hold oh, the horses first. Thing. We'll add um, rasam powder and salt. This smell is really taking me back. I'm uh, was upset because of the phone calls she got from home. I think I remember now. I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. So Papalan went back to India, I think. Can't read this part either, but there is not much to do to this. Just put everything in and it cooks, I guess. Favorite text? I'm stuck. I am really stuck. It's much to figure out. I said I need some healing help here. I think I'm just overwhelmed on how to start. I just start by putting the water in first and then everything else. I think that's all there is to with this one. We will put... We will put first the bone in chicken. Then water. Then we will put the last two ingredients. Uh, turmeric and salt. Okay, now... I think close the lid. No flavor text. Close the lid. And turn off the light. I should turn this on after if I get everything in. Oh, the, the this one here. Don't worry. I didn't make a mistake right now. Is it bank? I should keep going. Remove the cooker uh, wait. Remove the lid. Wow, that looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but that turmeric turmeric too miric is making it look extra nice. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is going to start selling an overpriced tour merc chicken stock after watching this. Now hold your horses, I need to check the walkthrough again. Okay, last step. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Ransam is usually water, but there is here is its fish chicken stock instead. That's really cool. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on the chicken soup made from the variety of spices and aromatics. Gross. Okay, you're not going to let me 
You can do anything here, no flavor text. Okay, the next step is... By the way, the game only has nine more minutes left. According to the walkthrough at the very least. Okay, place this here. And then... Put the leaves on it. That's not it. Ah, oh, that looks a great hammer. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that there. Flashback. Mama? Mama, why are you sad? It's nothing. Did I do something wrong? Hmm? Oh no, Kanna, not at all. I just, I heard from home. Your grandmother. Amma loves her a lot, but sometimes people have to leave and go away far away. And Amma will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's not about leaving, I believe she's dead. It's natural, Kevin. Everyone lives someday. Us too. It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Amma. Or Appa. What's up? Any recipe updates? Appa, Amma, Aaron, Adam C, Anna T, Ben, You should really call your mother. It's about time. Humble porridge pro pro can taste sweeter than nectar when filled with the little authentic hands of your mother. His father's uh, glasses. If you're expecting from me to just do this on my own, you are uh, dreaming. Before we continue any further, I'd like to first quickly have a pause moment here in the book through so I can read for you what I couldn't read. Here. Let me quickly read the terror text. Yeah, I told you I'm a terrible devil at this. It's easy, Kevin. Listen. It's all about temperature control with dosa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add the oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done easy, right? Okay, the text on the screen at the start of this chapter. I think it's possible this is the last chapter of the game, since we only have nine minutes left. The text on the screen at the first start of this chapter was the following. Humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. 2017. Basically, Vinba went to teaching 
and she worked hard and as a teacher and Pavlan is dead I believe now she wants to, to eat her own son's uh, food so let's see here what we do now is it right yeah for you another uh, disaster is coming up quickly uh, the flavor text about dosas. The pattern for this is very similar to Idli's uh, pattern, right? Yes and no. They are both made for, uh, from rice and fermented lentils, but the consistency and the way it is prepared is different. If you have left over Idli uh, batter, you can use uh, you can always add some water to convert it into a quick do sound uh, better, better, better. Oh, that's convenient. I'm a little stuck. Give me a hint, please. It's easy, Kevin. Listen, it's all about temperature control with do sound. First, pour the water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low settings. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. The oil around the edges, and uh, add the oil in the edges, and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter, and make it easy to flip once the edges are browned. It's all done, it's all done, it's done. <laughs> Okay, let's quickly check out the room I am following. So I don't make any, any mistakes, I will inevitably Regret. Okay. What do we do now? I believe this is literally the last uh, level we have. Okay, so what do we do now? First, what are it. What up? Put this low. Then add this. Uh, nice. Rotate with your mouse. Next up. We add oil. Up, we get to the heat up. Go to here. Now. Oh my god. I did it. Good job. Ready to try something harder? Are you ready to try Otapam now? The dosa will be a bit thicker this time, so we can lay all the, uh, all the vegetables. Oh, this, uh, this is like a pizza, right? With all the toppings. Yes. Look at that. Not ready though. Okay. Healthier modifications. Flavor text. You know, if we swap the rice with the, in the batter with almond or coconut flour, you can make this pretty healthy. It won't be as high in carbs and it won't spike your insulin. Do that. It won't be a dessert. <laughs> okay, I'm not stuck. So, yes, it's easy, cabin. It's all about the temperature with the, with the dosa. Turn on the sun to reduce the heat. Next up, set the fire to the lower ceiling. Put the batter, and since the sun isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add the oil. Yeah, she already said that previously. Let me go to check the walkthrough I'm following. Okay, what do you do now? By the way, the walkthrough has only six minutes left. We're almost done. 
بس وتر وتر جلد الله أتفر موف ذا ماوس Now, uh, toppings. Do I have to add all the toppings? Actually, you can just add whatever you like. If you want, uh, all the tabs is different. Just make sure to add uh, a D first. Okay, here. If I'm not uh, mistaken, this time we need to not make any problems. How do you think wrong? Flavor text. Item modifications. I think we already read uh, all this. What's up? The rice with the batter with coconut oil or one with the batter uh, for your insulin, etc. We already read all this. We will add what now? We're going to add ghee. So I think it's fat. Ghee first. Then we'll add carrots. We'll add onions. Chilies. We'll add noodle powder. And then we will add, they make this. We will ignore the green chilies. Go for here. And it's the better. Make sure you don't burn it. I think I'm getting the tag of this. See, I told you it's easy. We ignore the green chilies because they are bad. At least for now. Okay, I haven't made this in a while. This was your Atlas favorite. Uh, Kari dosa is dosa with minced meat. Yes, exactly. We're doing it with uh, mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. What does Kari mean? This is favorite flavor text. Mm -hmm. it's, it is a Tamil word. And it can mean a lot of things. Uh, colloquially, we use it to refer to meat dishes. Carry, it also means coal, and since we use it to cook, maybe it came from there. Interesting. I wonder if there is, if there where the English word curry comes from. Check the hints. It's easy, Kevin. Listen. It's all about the temperature control, as again, per usual. I'm not going to repeat this for the la for the third time, or as is. Well, as per usual, put water first. Yeah, put water first. Go ahead. Put the batter. Put the dosa. Um, move the mouse. Good. Good job, Kevin. Now we start adding the curry toppings. Like otpa, otapam. You want to add the ghee first. Then add the beaten eggs as a coating, followed by the actual carry and finish it with the uh, coriander. So first, what the process is my friend here? G first we set. Here. Then egg. Then egg. Then we put this here. The curry. And finally the coriander. Full heat with that. I thought it just got a little bit. Now, another one down. 
This is fun. Yes, it really is. Believe it or don't, game over. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own Dostas restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. If there were restaurants that can serve Dostas like this back there, you wouldn't have missed home so much and left home. I came here for more than just Dostas, Kevin. Oh yeah, of course, I was just joking. Oh. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, 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 I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do it this one time, at least. Sure, Kevin. What happened? Mama? I have something to show you. This is Amma's recipe book. Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those two? And you wrote in Tamil? This is a great cabin! Is this all research for that show you were writing? No, I'm not. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I... I couldn't write what they wanted. I felt like a fraud. I took the job because it was the first place that would hire me. I suppose showrunners felt I could offer a Tamil perspective, but I've distanced myself from all that, all of that my entire life. I couldn't even speak the language fluently. What perspective, what perspective can I even offer? I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life, but now. I'm acting Tamil when it is convenient for me. When there is a job on the line, I couldn't deal with it. You're being unfair to yourself. I had no idea you felt this way. You're being unfair to yourself. I had no idea you felt this way. Um, you're being unfair to yourself. It's a drama. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you and after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much you must have hurt. It must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And Appa. It was so sudden. I almost thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspired me. Even then, even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. Don't worry, Mimba is back. That's not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me, and even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Living in India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving, and I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. 
It must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavalan... Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Sama. How long are you staying for? But no, Emma. But this is nice. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Canada. But this is really nice. Game over. Literally, game over. And if you're asking, yes, most likely this is the best possible ending you will ever get. One offline recorded long play for Finba. A game about a family of immigrants from South India to Canada. So I was correct, Pavelin did die searching for a job after his mother died for him. And uh, Benba had to work for the sake of her own son in Canada. It's okay, really. It's okay. It's life. Once the credits end, let's make quickly check on OBS just in case. I don't want anything to have uh, been lost for any reason at all. It's a quick indie game. Game over. It's official. Okay, so the entire game literally took from us two hours and a half. That's it. So, quickly here, let's finish off our auto. The end. So, what do we have here? Um, quickly, our score for the game, very quick, very short, very much fun, and doesn't stay over its welcome at all. So, I would uh, like to say here, very likable characters, very deep story, um, music is nice, gameplay is fun and quick, you just need to know what to do, and do it quickly for the sake of the cooking itself recipes are easily followed and can be made in real life if you were to wish to try to do it yourself setup is nice overall and um, all in all i would give Vinba as an indie very quick game um I would give Vinba 9.5 out of 10. It gets a 9.5 out of 10, a 4.5 out of 5, because I didn't like the fact that Pavelin left. That's literally the only reason. And I also didn't like how Kevin decided to treat his parents. So all in all, it's a very beautiful game. I do recommend it very much. And you can... Play it and choose other stuff as you wish, I don't really care. 
<coughs> with that being said, I think this will be it for today's session. I will be uploading this video once I finish it. I would like to pray peace be upon all of my subscribers, the commentators, followers, fans, and friends. Everyone from the beasts of the Outer Empire and everyone from the Discord server, free YouTube friends by name. Peace be upon Thunderstruck Gaming, be it Z9 Gaming, Marcus, Factor Crash, McIC, Double Y, Rookie Jan Carodan, Cryfield, ZBTV123, Matthew1121, Sagatacon85, Bob Express, Sparfan28, Sammy and Scurby, Crazy Dragons, Friday and 12, Heavy Metal Driver, 666, and Torsco. This has been with you, your host, Invisible, from Invisible's gaming channel, a stage of the, of the stageless, giving a voice for the voiceless. And this has been with you, the, our newest project yet, long, let's say, long play, Venba for the PC, an indie game, that's very short and very sweet. Till next time, and uh, when, until next project, whatever that will be, make sure to stay careful, stay healthy, and stay safe. We are living in an unforgiving, unforgivable hell. Anything can happen. Make sure to keep your friends and family close to you. Keep your enemies even closer. You don't know when you'll need help or where come from. Make sure to give credit and gratitude where they do. It is much easier and simpler to take others for the favors for you than it is to give flowers for the graves of the dead. By now, we have officially finished. We have officially finished. Um, eighty-three projects. Let me quickly here have th uh, the updates written as fast as possible. Today is the 12th of uh, February, 2024. Okay, a uh, project. Let's play Venba. Um, was recorded offline. And with that, We quickly here uh, copy all the rest of the update as per usual from the previous update. See here, we are at completed the projects 83 out of 100, 17 games left before we permanently migrate to rumble from this irredeemable, unsalvageable, cursed dictator for an ad stoop site. Potential projects right now are only one shot fading memory fan made mod. The rest of the backlog uh, related projects would be one shot fading memory, postal potential project due to the to winning one vote from Georgia Telegraph Scotta and destroy on a human species potential project because it won one vote from ZPTV123. The rest of the backlog projects possible projects are Beyond the Blue, Wilder Myth, Assassin's Creed 1, Flambo, Ghostmaster, Hacknet of Orcs and Men, Overlord 1, Overlord 2, Party Hard, Postal 2, Sticks, Master of Shadows, um, Sticks, Shards of Darkness, War for the Overworld, Zombie Night Terror, Anno Mutationium, uh, Final Fantasy VI, although no promises because it's a very lengthy game, Portal 2, uh, Tales of Immortal, no promises though, Nefarious, with Tale, The Book Walker, Thief of Tales, Undead Horde, Storyteller, and Pixel 3. If you wish to vote for any of these projects, just vote for them, because they will be the only things we will, that will be played until we hit our 100th project, and then completely migrate to Rumble permanently. Post. Okay, take care and best of luck. Invisible with you, sign out. Peace. Stop recording.